Thank you everybody for uh, coming to see us. Uh, my name is Tim Doubleday, I'm the VFX product manager here at uh, Vicon. So I'm in charge of the entertainment, the video game uh, kind of software side of it. I'm thrilled to say we've got Gina Teresa here, coming all the way from Los Angeles. She's an established motion capture actress. And then behind the booth we've got Juan, Mitchell and Katie, so they're part of our support team. Um, so if you've got any questions at the end, just come up and talk to them. Any kind of questions about motion capture. Uh, we're really thankful to CD Projekt Red. They're a, one of our customers uh, based out of Poland. They've allowed us to use Siri from, uh, from The Witcher. Um, and unfortunately they can't be here today because they're working on um, Cyberpunk. But they send their love. And uh, likewise, so we're, yeah, we just want to say thank you to them for, for letting us use Siri. It's, it's a real pleasure. So I'm excited to be able to show you Shogun 1.3 today. And it's designed to kind of uh, work in real time and allow you game devs to, to kind of capture and record data all in real time. So in the past you'd kind of have to process things in the background. With Shogun it's, it's all done automatically. So yes, yeah, so I don't know how many of you saw our presentation last year with Siren. Siren was uh, in partnership with Epic Games and Cubic Motion all about kind of creating a, a believable digital human. This year we're really highlighting the fingers. So one of the big um, feature requests from our customers is the ability to animate fingers realistically. And to achieve this, if you want to take a step forward, we, uh, we capture data on a high resolution marker set. So we actually capture 58 tiny little uh, three millimeter markers on the subject's hand. And we can then create a hand model um, that we can constrain to this marker set. So this is a mark on the end of each finger. And then if you hold it up to the camera here, we can see that the, uh, the Shogun software basically learns where the joint should be from all the data it collects. And it, it can then create a very realistic hand model underneath. And this allows us to then drive the, uh, the character that you can see in the background. And this kind of level of fidelity is something that obviously video game creators demand from their uh, kind of games these days. You know, it's not only the face and the body, but also the fingers to kind of give it a really realistic look. Um, yeah, so this is something you couldn't traditionally do with an with a optical motion capture system because the markers get so confused. But the way the hand model works underneath is it knows that that pose is what's achievable and what isn't possible. So it can maintain a kind of realistic looking hand even if the markers get really, really close together. Cool. So we've got one of our view video cameras here. Gina wants to go up. So this is just a, it's our video camera, but it gets calibrated into the space. And then we can overlay the uh, game character over the front. So we think that's kind of pretty, it's going to be pretty beneficial to game devs all around the world. Fantastic. Okay, so fingers is great. That's one part of the kind of problem solved. The next thing for us is retargeting. Like I said at the beginning, retargeting is a way of getting the animation from the Vicon skeleton onto the game skeleton and then stream that into a game engine like you can see on the monitors up here. Uh, and to do that, we've kind of created this really easy workflow, um, which we can just show you. We'll put it on the screen. So obviously, in terms of the animation, say if we introduce a prop, say a sword, or, or if, uh, if Gina needs to pick something up, that hand needs to be in the correct position. So here we can see our, the retargeting skeleton. This is the, the pink skeleton underneath is the is a game rig. And then the silver skeleton, just turn that one on, is the, uh, is the Vicon skeleton. So that sits underneath. And we can then just create connections between those two joints. And what that allows you to do is then on the shoot day, it's very quickly be able to visualize your character in something like Unreal, which you can see on the top of the screen. Quickly. Get in there. And really, this is just the, the start of the retargeting journey for us. Um, we appreciate our customers want to be able to see the animation on their characters but also they want something a bit more intelligent, something that can learn what happens in the background. So um, over the next year or maybe two years, we're gonna really try and look at what we can do to improve the, the retargeting workflow. So we're just gonna get Gina to perform a little sequence for you.
so you can see uh, excuse me, you can see on the on the screen above Unreal. And we're actually using the uh, LiveLink plugin for Unreal, so it's uh, they announced it last year at GDC. It's basically a way to very easily get uh, get any data into your into your game engine. Okay, so thanks a lot for coming to see us today. Uh, if you've got any questions, just come up and talk to us. There's a few of us on the booth today. Any questions about motion capture or retargeting? Um, if you want to talk to Gina about becoming a motion capture actress, then feel free to come and say hello. Uh, I'd just like to end and say thanks to you all for coming. Um, we're just going to play a little video showing what our, uh, the work our customers have been doing over the last couple of years. Um, and uh, yeah, have a great GDC. Thanks a lot. <laughs>